Do you know something? Over the next 40 years, the number of humans crowded into this little planet is going to climb to over 9 billion. And nearly all of this population explosion is going to take place in cities, ever-expanding urban centers, which will become the hub of all human activity. Where on earth is it going to end? Welcome to Lagos, the largest city in Nigeria and the fastest growing megacity in the world. In 10 years time, they say Lagos will be home to more than 25 million people. And everyone is wondering how it's gonna cope. It can barely handle all the people who are here already. Well, some people think they have the answer. Plans are afoot to remodel Lagos and turn it into a modern first world city. Lagos in 10 years time is going to be great. Lagos, I believe Lagos is going to, we are going to compare Lagos and London. These are a few of the people on the front line of this change. They're determined, adaptable, and incredibly resilient. And if the plans do succeed, and the city becomes a Western-style metropolis. Who's going to be there to enjoy it? Once a month, for a few hours on the last Saturday, Lagos undergoes an amazing transformation. Some of the noisiest and busiest streets in the world fall silent as 16 million people stay at home to help tidy up their neighborhoods. Whether people are moved by civic pride in the swankier parts of town or deterred by on-the-spot fines in the poorer areas, the government's sanitation day is rigorously observed by everybody, everywhere. Karamo Beach is a tiny spit of sand attached to Victoria Island, Lagos's most upmarket neighborhood. It's become the unlikely location for a shanty town, housing a thousand or so people, which has already twice been bulldozed by the government. But even here, the inhabitants are out in force. My name is Esther. I live in this area. And today is Saturday, which is the last Saturday of the month, and we are out here doing the general cleaning. Here we clean, we sweep our house, clean outside, wash our clothes. That's what we're here to do this morning. Yes, baby girl. I'm being environmental. I'm cleaning my house. Esther has lived here since she arrived in Lagos seven years ago. She was only 16 and looking for adventure in the big city. Blessing, Yako, want to go and do your sanitation. Now she's got a little business selling phone cards and a house where she lives with her husband, Shegon, while they try to get enough money together to move somewhere more permanent. I think I'm done here. You're yeah, welcome to my house. This is where I live. I and my husband, we live here together. No, my husband is not at home. He has gone to work. I got a radio where I listen to music. And I have two pillows where we sleep. I and my husband. And here is my bag where my clothes in. I have some books where I do read a lot, no? This is my Bible. I take it to church. Yeah, and here we hang our clothes all around because at any time the water can be aggressive and then we'll be entering to our house. My husband has gone to work, like I said, and he's a very loving and caring man. I love him. Yeah. Setting up home on the beach is relatively easy. 
For about £80, paid to the right people, you can get a house made of scrap wood and tarpaulin built for you. And as long as you don't mind mucking in once a month and keeping it tidy, you'll get along fine. Uh, Daddy, good morning, sir. I don't know what's wrong with our younger men. No, look at an elderly man for now. With shovel, digging, walking, cleaning up. Yeah, well done, sir. God will continue to replenish your strength, sir. So are you not cleaning up? No. Why? I don't do my own. You have done your own, are you sure? Yes. Because we are coming there. I go see we will come there. OK, let's do with this. I will come and see. OK, yeah. yeah. So. This land is a government land, you know, and the government can come at any time, any day, be it morning, afternoon, and night, to destroy this place, to break this place. So that's why we are, you know, we are being cautious of how we maintain this place. And later in the evening time, the beach will be busy with people coming in to relax for the weekend. Even Saturday and Sunday is a very good time when people will be coming to the beach to relax and have fun. <laughs> That man, I got to smoke. I When it comes to cleaning up the city, Sanitation Day is just the tip of the iceberg. The government has drawn up big plans to turn Lagos into the Singapore of Africa, a modern, business friendly city that will attract people from all over the world. To achieve this, they plan to destroy all the slums which make up three quarters of Lagos and drive out all the criminals, squatters and illegal traders who clog up the streets. They're calling it the Lagos Megacity Project. And these guys, the task force, are at the forefront of it. <laughs> Made up of hand-picked policemen and state paramilitaries, the task force operate on a mandate all of their own. They have the power to arrest, seize goods, and even destroy property without providing any compensation. Their eyes are deaf. They don't like hearing the law of the state. This thing is that don't bring anything, don't build any extension to your shop. Look at their shop inside. Just because they want to sell. And when we are taking the state to a mega city, we should know this kind of thing is not necessary here. And we don't need it. This guy, Shagede, was born and bred in Lagos and used to work as a traffic cop. But as soon as he heard about the task force, he jumped at the chance to go and work for something he really believes in. You find yourself to blame. People don't need to be scared of, uh, scared of me because we are friends to the community and the community are friends to us. I am serving the government of Lagos State. So that's why I like it. Because I don't want Lagos State to be doomed. When Shagedi talks about the city being doomed, this is what he means. Mile upon mile of gridlock and huge areas of slum housing with no proper drainage and sanitation, which have sprawled organically over the years. The megacity project claims it's gonna fix these problems by revamping the entire infrastructure of the city. But that means creating chaos. Because when the task force and their bulldozers have flattened these areas to make way for the new roads and sewage systems, there's very little mention of where the people who live here now should actually go. And that's a lot of people, 11 million, and rising every day. Okay. Thanks to the 
Welcome. Welcome to Mother Care. For that wonderful, frustrating, have you what? Hilarious, serious, exhausting, rewarding process called parenting. We are here with everything you need, including invaluable help and advice written by our experts. Esther's best friends on Karamo are called Blessing and Victoria, two mothers with young children who were born on the beach. Blessing is heavily pregnant with her second child, which is due in just a couple of weeks. Wow, so this woman look beautiful. Mm. Most of our Nigerian women, they will, they will look ugly when they are pregnant. They won't wear the correct clothes. The correct, no, they will just wear boba or chocolate, chocolate and boba. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm having baby. It's kind of funny. In this kind of country, you can't expect your husband to be carrying your baby for you. Yes. Bro, they will blackmail you that you have turned your husband to a woman. Nobody dares that in this country. Uh, I get to have a baby here on the beach. It depends. Uh, that's why I said that I'm not really sure. Maybe it's this place or I might give. It depends on where the labor starts from and the time that it starts. Because yes. if it is in the last night, you know, it will be very difficult getting you to ah, the hospital. Blessing is a wonderful person, you no? Know? She's a she's a, she's a good person. I've known her now quite for a long time, you no. Know? No, I think she will have been beautiful or prettier than she is now if there is enough care for her, you no, know? maintaining her and she will be be beautiful. I think it would be safer if she had a baby in the hospital where proper attention, care will be given onto her. And there's an health centre, not quite for me. For me. Yeah. And now mm. I let their working 24 hours, 247, be it morning, afternoon, midnight, they are always working. I know. They we are, are taking chances walking. and we are taking risky. Despite Esther's concerns, the beach has proven a popular place for young families to bring up their children. On average, there's a new baby born here every couple of weeks. And not surprisingly, a village-like community has grown up around them. There are shops catering for families on a budget, filled with cheap foods like gaddy, the cassava flour eaten by everyone every day. A cinema showing all the latest Nollywood movies, a church, and even a sports centre. And with huge construction projects less than 10 minutes walk away on Victoria Island, it's an easy commute for all the men. Like Esther's husband, Shegan. I have a happy home. I have a lovely wife. She's nice, she's cool, she's okay. I understand her, she understands me. The situation over here, she can adapt with it. And I think that I'm adapt with it. I want to go and get a house in, in Lagos. 50,000 around, about two years. Some even pay 75,000. And you have to pay in advance. A common worker like me, feeding my wife, feeding myself, it's not easy. What I have to do, come to the ghetto in a little beach like this, build your little tent, with 5,000 you can get a little tent, and put your garden here down, in there. Think about what you're going to do tomorrow. For people living in ghettos across the city, planning for tomorrow is becoming something of a luxury. When the task force target an area for clearance, they often arrive at dawn, without warning. Like here, in Agege, where this morning they're destroying all the slums built along the main railway line, in and out of Lagos.
I have shop in this vicinity, and I expect the government of Nigeria to find a look, to look for a location that we move to, so that we can help the masses. It's part of the mega city project. Apart from the federal government uh, modernization of railways project, it's part of the mega city project. Because the light rail, Lagos light rail will pass through our corridor here. That's it. Like most things around here, the railway system isn't exactly a model of efficiency. As it stands, Nigeria's largest city has a service of just one train a week. And as the tracks have lain empty, thousands of people have flooded in, building shops and houses wherever they like. Now the government is planning to install an ultra-modern electric railway to ferry the commuters of tomorrow into the commercial centre of the new megacity. And that means clearing the route, all 20-odd miles of it. that uh, my shop is involved, uh, it's, uh, it's supported, it's a welcome development. However, we, assuming the government provided alternative to this, we should appreciate it better. Uh, but uh, since there is no alternative, there's nothing we can do than to rely on God, absolutely. Just wake up this morning, see two caterpillars, they are demolishing our shops. And there was no notice to that effect. If at the end of the day, if they send everybody out of Lagos State, we all will go to our villages because we are from somewhere. Yes. So what they are doing now is uncalled for. It's very, very bad. They don't want the poor to leave. So it's as if this country is for the rich, not for the poor. Good morning. At Task Force Headquarters, Shagede and his squad are just starting their shift. Although he was born in Lagos, Shagede has moved to neighbouring Ogun State and is refusing to come back until Lagos' transformation into a megacity is complete. I live very close before. I live in Lagos State before. Not quite long, I parked to that place. So I choose to be living at that place. That is why I go there. Because the weather of that place is so conducive and the environment is suitable to my living. And you know, at times, the stress in Lagos environment is much, as in the traffic and everything is much. So that is why. This is my bros, who is my bros, my bros, bros, bros. Bros, so, Sake Martins. Yes, this is my officer. This is stubborn boy. Eh? Fight me now. Fight me. Fight me. Stubborn boy. We are doing the clearing. We are doing the clearing, but you know, Lagos State is congested. And you know, for people to adapt to what Fashola is bringing on is. It's not so easy. So, but we, in our enforcement unit here, we are trying to make Lagos clean and to make everywhere sanity for everybody. So that is what we are doing. But you know, we can only try our best. We can only try our best. And the government of the state is trying very much to make Lagos an easy place for people to live. So this is where our people are. This is where we sit down, relax just for a minute. We don't even have much time to relax. In the morning, in the morning we only relax like two or ten minutes. So after that we are out for operation. So you can see we have unity within ourselves. We have unity everywhere. We are united. We are one mind, one soul. That is how we work here.
Ah, uh, you excuse it with the threat. Yes, I just... Just don't worry, I'm going to sort it out myself. Uh, maybe use... Yes. Today is Esther's 24th birthday. And for the last few months, Shegan has been putting aside a little bit of money every week so he can throw her a proper party. I think you should do it like that. Is how we do it. No, right from when I was a child, I've always had it at the back of my mind that when I grow up, I'm going to mark my bed no matter how little. But today I'm getting more than a budget for cutting cake, cooking, drinking. Ow. It's kind of special to me, so that's why I have to make sure I, I, I cover everything from the camera to the, to the photographer so that whenever I look at it, I'll be so grateful. All Esther's friends have come round to help out, and the preparations have been buzzing with the latest rumour doing the rounds. Actually, yesterday's afternoon, it was from outside that I was hearing something about the government destroying some beach. So I now ran inside, turned on my radio, and then you know they were saying that the government is planning to come and break down any illegal structures on all the beaches. So the people were asked to comment on it. So many stupid people were like, they should destroy it. There are a lot of arm robbers, no prostitutes, no doing all sorts of illegal thing on the beach. So it's kind of thing that pissed me off, that really, really gets me upset because you no, know, we never thought it could come so soon. I know they will come and break it someday, but not so soon. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so great. I don't even know what I don't know how to explain my feelings now. If I just said we do pay. Ah, I don't know how to put it in any other language, but this is the most happiest day. <laughs> For next year, I have lots of things to do that I'm planning. We're going to leave this place. We might just leave this, use this place as no second dome in case of any EKT. We rush down to our rented house, apartments, no. Maybe continue my education. A lot of things that I'm planning for next year to do. As part of the Mega City project, Shegede and his squad make regular raids against one of the city's most notorious problems, area boys. But when you go my mobile phone, we'll correct you. You will give us money. That's what we are talking. You understand? In control, in control, in control, in control, you don't need to know. Baba, don't do it, you don't. In control, in control, you don't. These loosely organized gangs control nearly every neighborhood in Lagos, robbing people, extorting money, and taxing anyone who comes their way. Everybody hates them. Area boys is area boys. The host one among them may be claiming they are the old schools. But we count everybody as equal. Area boys is area boy. So we don't know old school, we don't know the young school. So far they don't have anything doing for a living. Rather than to go and smoke, just doing things that is unnecessarily during the working hour. But it is this dispensation now we are now eradicating area boys. We have to run after them, chase them away from Lagos. I'm going to mix up with people. Just 
Just pin them down like that. Oh yeah, follow that side. Lie down, lie down. Fuck that man. Fuck him. You are bastard. Oh yeah, lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie These are the these are the miscreants. They are all hoodlums. You can see that guy arrested was selling Indian hemp. Full of Indian hemp. This is Indian hemp. Cannabis. Yes. It's not me that's selling it. I'm and who is selling it? You provide the person that sells no, it. I don't, I don't know. Yes, it's a successful mission. We don't feel sorry for them because what they are doing at the present time is not speaking well in the country. Now, the task force's methods may not be that pretty, but they are working. Rather than risk an encounter with these guys, most area boys are choosing to stay at home these days, or even get a job. Lagos State have been sanitized to the length that you can train your children anywhere and they will grow up for good. So that is it. So when they are attending some certain age, they will start mingling with good ones because the bad ones have been flushed out. Good afternoon. You get uh, Gary? Ah, the use of clothes, fine. Fair enough. You got copy of it, I fine. It's 10 days since what Esther's birthday, and things have gone terribly wrong. Shegan is now staying with friends further down the beach because Esther has kicked him out. No, it actually started last week, I think. Either Wednesday, Thursday, you know. I was going to his phone book, so I saw one text message. I saw the text message. Let's see. Yeah, this one says, Dear, sorry I can't make it. My father asked me to make food for him. I have, I have been trying your number. It's not going to. Let's make it tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Good night. Apart from that one, I still have another one again. Which says, The sun has gone beset. The star rules the world. May the gentle breeze mug your eyes to sleep. Sweet dream, love you. I, how are you going to explain that? My husband wants to go and test, test a puss. No, my own is not sweet. I own has some honey, some lemonade, some, I don't know, sugar, some sauce, some maggi. So that's why I want to go and try and it's luck with her. But everything backfire. Sometimes in a life, man goes through one or two things. It's not easy to be a married man, but sometimes you find it easier. In life, you can satisfy a woman. No matter anything, you can satisfy a woman. You can only try. With God by your side, you win. Without God by your side, you can't satisfy a woman. But everything you do, you will keep keeping on complaining. They say tough times never last, but tough people do. I only know I'm tough. I'm not ash. I am only tough. But ash, I may be ash a little bit, but not art. An hour after Esther read his text messages, Shegan came home to find all his possessions piled up in the middle of the beach and his mobile phone buried in the sand beside them. It's the kind of single-mindedness and strength common to a lot of the women here. Not only do they all pop out dozens of babies and cook and clean and look after the house, but the vast majority have full-on jobs too. 
running their own businesses, hawking food, hustling with the best of them. So while it might appear that the city is run by men, everyone knows that without the women, this whole place would fall apart. <laughs> Blessing's baby is now a week overdue, so Esther has called in Victoria, a midwife who used to live on the beach. This is induction of labor. Eh, we call it induction of labor. When the, your month passed, we call it post-date uh, post, uh, or overdue. So that's why I'm inducing her. No call she feels okay. You know, look at Saleco. Before the, the demolition, we live here for four years. I've been more than that. I've delivered uh, 300 babies. It's not difficult. To be all our mothers, all our old, old mothers, they deliver us at home. Some deliver on the way to the farm, on the way to the river, they deliver. I'm in Blessing's house right now when I was told that she has put to bed. So here now, I'm about to see the baby's face, you No, know? She delivered a baby, I'll see baby girl this early this morning. Baby girl, you are welcome. She's looking so big, big and matured, you no? Know? Look at her broad face. I thank God for everything. So I'm so happy and grateful. I don't know how to say it. You can't shout, you can't scream. Just be looking and be smiling. That is how, all I could say for now. Because I don't have too much strength. Ay, no wonder. Ah, can you do one? She will be our first lady president, you no? Know? She, she, she will be a source of joy to her mother, to her father, to this family, and to this neighborhood as a whole and to this great nation, Nigeria. You, know, you can see she's beautiful. She's going to do great things and great exploits for us. We will not be hearing her name in the in the bad, bad places. We will be hearing her name in the House of Senate, House of Rep, in the Presidential Villa, in, in London, in England, in great, great places in Jesus' name. So, no, 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 I'm, in fact, I'm feeling as if I'm the mother. I feel like some of the mother, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And I wish to be a newborn baby like her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm preparing myself. No, we are having a match, Asna versus Chelsea this evening. I think I'm kind of nervous. Always nervous anytime we are having a match, especially away match. But whenever it comes to home match, when we are playing at Stanford Bridge, I'm always confident. Blue for life, Daddy. Blue for life. Blue for life. Blue for life. Blue for life. Chelsea, Chelsea. flog Asna, two yes. one. Two, yeah, two one. one. No, four one. Four one. Three two one. Two one. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Say, let's make it three. Three yeah. one. <laughs> anyway, that's the one self. Before they get up, they go sweat. Yeah. I never hear in Ghana. Ah, I never hear. Wow, wow, wow. It's quite raining today. And I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I can't hide my feelings, no. Due to the rain, my club still win. We won 2-1 against Asna. I'm quite excited, happy. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm so happy. We are heading for the finals. We are heading for the finals. I can't act my excitement.
Once the task force have been through an area, sweeping away all the miscreants and area boys before them, the beautification squads move in. Since the mega city project began, a whole industry of landscapers and gardeners has emerged, charged with turning Lagos green. My name is Mr. Shola Adekoya, the managing director, Shoders Beautification Landmark, situated at 251-253 Ikorodu Road. We are engaging landscaping, beautification, and the tree planting of Lagos State. You are welcome. This place, we're going to have some flower bears. Then after the flower bears, we're going to have some topiary on the side of the garden. Then greens, that is, long top with avenue of trees on both sides of the garden that can provide shade at the long run. Yes, the fountain is going to be of six meters high. Then we're going to have seat around the fountain Whereby, if you want to relax, you can sit around the fountain and hear the sound of the water that is cascading into the pond. It's for tourists, for entertainment, and then that is vista for people to see the visual charm. You see the beauty, then if you come in, you should be able to enjoy, entertain yourself with kind of features that is incorporated together. So that is the essence of this particular garden. It's going to be different of all the gardens that we have been doing. So it's going to be fantastic. Although it might seem a bit absurd to spend so much money on plants and water features, when three quarters of the people in Lagos live without proper drainage and sanitation, most of the people here support the beautification projects. The area boys who used to occupy these patches of wasteland are now being offered work as gardeners and park wardens, which is making the whole city feel much safer. And after decades of neglect, people are pleased to see someone is trying to change things for the better. It's almost two weeks since Esther kicked Shagun out, and after a bit of detective work, she's got to the bottom of those text messages. He has been seeing another lady that is more beautiful, pretty. I don't know. So when a man sees a new thing, no, sees a new clothes, the old clothes are no longer useful again. But I'm not going to just be the loser. So till time pending, I'm going to make life miserable for him, giving him a very tough time. I'm quite fed up, fed up, fed up, no. And by the look of things, no, it's going down the drain now, no. While Shagun stews on the beach, Esther's decided to take one of her regular trips to see her parents on the outskirts of the city. When she first arrived in Lagos as a young girl, Esther slept with a man on the beach. And pretty soon, she discovered she was going to have a baby. I remember when I was pregnant, I was worried, I was young. You no, know, first time, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to nurse baby, what I've never done before, blah, 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 blah. I said, God, I didn't know how people go through it, but we are the God, help me. She gave birth to a daughter, Christina. But after a couple of years, the bulldozers came and destroyed their house. And Esther decided that the beach was no place to bring up a kid. So for the time being, Christina lives with Esther's parents. Yeah, yeah, home sweet home. And she's, uh, yeah. Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? I'm fine. 
Yes, everything. Everything is fine. Daddy. How are you? Welcome. My angel. Come on, I miss you so much. Did you miss me? Eh? Are you sure? Yes. You miss me? Yes, Mom, I like your hair. You like my hair? Yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you, my angel. Thank you. Oh, it's my baby. I miss my baby so much. Grigri, I'm all I'm very, very happy seeing her. Mm, I'm very, very happy. She's a wonderful uh, daughter, which I believe she's going to be great in life. That's my dream for her. My goal, my aspiration, my dream for her. No, and I'm very, very happy to be home. Very, very happy to be home. Where's your slippers, honey? Come on, where's your slippers? Come on. And this is my daughter's school, very close to the house, from house to school, school to house. So that's just it. It's good to get fresh hair of home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come here, honey. Come. Christy. Walk, walk. Eh, 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 Don't fall in. <laughs> She's in safe and nothing's gonna happen to her. Yet that she is. They won't take care of her more than me, the mother. Wouldn't want her to be on the beach with me because it's going to affect her education. The way she speaks, no, I don't think she would have been able to do that. And my parents will be able to put her up in a godly way. Let us pray. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Father, we appreciate you for this food. Thank we you pray we sanctify it in Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't go, please. Don't go. Oh, oh, yeah, it's this one. Country thunder clap, and the showers of rain. As the first big storm of the rainy season hits the city, for the people on Karamo Beach, it's the first opportunity in months to collect free drinking water. But sometimes, too much water is not a good thing. This morning, the beach, you know, Started overflowing, you know. coming, entering houses. You no, know. even I was asleep when I just hear shh, let's you know, like tap running. You no, know. before we know it, the, 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 the water has entered our house. We have to evacuate all the rocks, you no, know. most of our valuables. And as you can see, all I have now here is sand. Sand. Everybody on the beach knows that once or twice a year, at extremely high tides, there's a risk of flooding. But this year, the damage is especially bad. No, it's the same. You can see this one. The water pulls it down. You can see another road here. This place used to be a road, but because of the water now, you just have to be walking in between the ditch. So as you can see, most of the dirty from the seaside, the water has pushed it down to this, our area. So we have to do a lot of sanitation, cleaning. So what we're just going to do is that we get a rake, gather the old dirt together, find nice shovel, dig, then we bury it. That's what we're going to do.
But before they can even deal with the mess of last night, the tide changes and the whole thing starts again. Not that anyone seems to mind too much. Instead of grabbing their possessions and heading for high ground, these guys just grab a spade and get on with it. Assuming I knew yesterday we have done this, prepared now. But this time around, it's not going to cut me unawares. I'm going to cut it unaware also. Town, on a rooftop in Surulere, Shigede is working his second shift of the day. In his youth, he was a noted dancer and choreographer, touring the world with the Nigerian National Theatre. And once a week, he still teaches an evening class in Nigerian traditional dance. Ladies, oh yeah. Boys, this is quite different from my day job. Because my day job, I work with the Lagos State Special Offenses and Enforcement Unit, and we which they call tax force. And it is different because this is my professional job. This is what I learned, this is what I study. We are just going like this. You can see my body movement. You can see a dance is how to teach people about our culture. Then my day job is to promote the image of Lagos State as a worker in Lagos State. But this one is a job which I've chosen to be in as in what to teach the younger ones that are forgetting the background of the culture they come from. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. Sare wa, sakpada wa, wa, let's go. Sakpada you are there. Now, a lot of people around here have more than one job. But Shagede, who spends his evenings promoting traditional values and tribal cultures, and his days plowing through the city destroying ghettos, does seem to be taking this to the extreme. Like everybody else working on the Mega City project, Shagede is of the opinion that if you want to make an omelette, you've got to break a few eggs. And he's convinced that they are making a real difference. Lagos in 10 years' time is going to be great. Lagos, I believe Lagos is going to, we are going to compare Lagos and London. Yes, in 10 years' time, you will see people from London, England, Ireland, who would like to come to Lagos to come and have their, maybe their, their holidays. And you know what? He might well be right. But it's all so chaotic and brutal at the moment that it's difficult to predict how it's all going to end up. Boys, let's see it One thing's for sure, though. It's going to be a while before Shagedi is ready to repack his stuff and move back into the mega city of his birth. So you are going on your steps. Steps in and along. And I It doesn't anything I put you on and that when you come like myself. Tell me what to I to go for new respect. I come and cook for you and cook for most of things you have to do. I come out, we go to Russia, go to my chicken, oh my daddy. Let me tell more, let me tell more. A couple of days after the flood, the sea has calmed down, and most people have started to repair their homes. But Esther and Shegon have other problems to deal with. 
Past two days now, things has not been working fine between my husband and I. No, and I think we're gonna separate now because by the look of things, things is not working well. my time not to make this work and it's like back to square one you know? like most people in Lagos during uncertain times Esther turns to her church and tonight for the first time she's traveled to the other side of the city to attend one of their special events. The redeemed Christian Church of God is gigantic. And these monthly all-night miracle services, held in a purpose-built hangar in their own enormous compound on the outskirts of Lagos, are attended by up to a million people. storm in my life. Stand up, Lord, today. And give me my miracle today. Give me my breakthrough today. Don't let it be too late for me. Please, Lord. You have always I believe God answers prayer. Even at the time minutes, when there is no hope, when all hope is gone, that's when God arises to your rescue. It might not be immediately, it may be at the very, when you almost give up hope. That's when God will take up the challenge. The Bible tells me that sorrow may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I believe I shall overcome. It's going to be a testimony for me someday. I'm going to stand up with my head raised high to tell people what I've passed through.
Which one do you want? Yeah, this is it. It's small. Yes. Okay. I need it. Okay, sure. It's a month since the all-night prayer vigil, and Esther and Shegun have separated permanently. She's now living in the house on her own and making ends meet with her phone card business. Thanks. Ten nera, ten nera. I'm, I will you ten nera, please. Yeah, no mm? Thank you. Despite the rumors, there's still no sign of the task force arriving, and word is going around that the people on the beach are being granted a reprieve for a couple of years, which gives Esther a chance to start planning for her future. <laughs> in the near future, where I'm going to be, you know, let's say six years' time now, I should be or I will be a professional teacher teaching young ones, or I'll be in the communication industry doing journalism, reporting, so far I'm good in talking, blah, 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 blah. So that's what I intend to do. Am I the father? Edwin. <laughs> Edwin. Huh? Kiss, Kiss you? Be on my own, independent lady. I don't have to rely on man, you no, know, for survivor. Be on my own, do my own stuff. By God's grace, I will be supporting myself and my daughter. And when the chance presents himself, I'm just going to phew, fly away. That's what I'm just going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Esther and all the others who live on Karamo Beach are just some of the millions of people making their lives in the slums and ghettos of Lagos. Sharing the same kind of hopes, dreams, fears and ambitions as the rest of us. And like a billion other people in similar conditions all over the world, they're living through a period of immense change as mankind begins to come to terms with its urban future. But one thing's for sure. However the Lagos Mega City project turns out, the people who have come here and made their homes in the most unlikely of places will find new and fantastic ways to adapt to it and make Lagos their own again. Oh,